Lexi Rosado here. So, it is snowing and cold out there. <laughs> I wanted to make this video yesterday, but I forgot to make it because I got busy. I wanted to talk about an analogy that I think applies to life and anything could impact people. So, I was babysitting this little boy yesterday and we were making, putting puzzle pieces together. And as I was helping him put puzzle pieces together, he would find pieces that fit like the edge, you know, fit perfectly into the other part of the puzzle, but it wasn't the right pieces that match because the image on top didn't match. The image on top didn't match. And he did it multiple times. And as it was happening, I would chuckle and I would help him and I, would, you know, find the right piece. But he was like, it fits, it fits. And I was like, he's, he's technically right. This puzzle piece fits into this puzzle piece, but it doesn't fit perfectly. The edges on the other side don't match perfectly and the image on top doesn't match perfectly, but he wants it to fit. And therefore, when it just, as soon as he can piece them together, you know, stack it and it snaps in, in his mind, it fits. He didn't look at the, the colors if, that they matched or the other edges if they match. And that gave me a very wise perspective that I think can apply to life. So follow this analogy with me. I think sometimes in life we pick up different puzzle pieces and we want them to match. And so we put them together and put that edge together and we're like, it matches, it matches. And we sometimes don't look at all the other factors. And so that spoke to me so deeply because I was thinking about how in my life, there have been times I've wanted puzzle pieces to fit so well that if it just fit, if it just snapped in, like, that's it. I want the puzzle piece to work. I want the puzzle to be put together faster. And so I wanted to talk about, so how do you know if it's the right puzzle piece? I mean, it fits, but it doesn't fit perfectly and the image doesn't match. Why is that? How can we make sure that in life we're putting together the right pieces of the image of our life? And for me, I wanted to give a couple perspectives, things that I have found for myself. Listen, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist. I'm just sharing my life in hopes that it could touch one or two people and be relatable. I have found that a couple things. One, discernment. Um, I, I get cautious of the word feelings because I think feelings are fleeting. So discernment of what you are feeling in terms of peace. Do I feel peace about the situation? Does it sit well? Is it what I want? So like one, I think, how do you feel about a situation? It may look right, but does it feel right? Is there something in your gut, in your instincts? Um, I'm a heart person in your heart that's just like not 100% peaceful. So I think that's the one thing. Then two, so we're going to do a list. Two, seeking wise counsel helps with discerning if a puzzle piece is supposed to fit or not. Just like I was playing with that little boy, he wanted the puzzle piece to fit, but I was the outside wise counsel, the perspective that looked at it and was like, no, honey, that doesn't fit. I mean, it fits. You're right. You are so right. It fits, but notice the image on top doesn't fit. I think when you have a different perspective that's outside of you, that is wiser, that has gone through life, they're going to offer insights and things that maybe you don't see that they see in advance or kind of like the little boy, you give a different piece that fits better. And so they go, okay, that's a good option, but what about this option? So number one, what are you sensing? What is your spirit telling you? Number two, what um, does wise counsel say? And then I think the third thing is time and prayer. <laughs> I get hesitant to say that again because I'm a huge executor, but I think time has actually become a friend of mine because some things you have to see if the plant will grow and sprout or if it's not going to. Um, and so even like right with the puzzle piece analogy, trying other puzzle pieces or gathering other things first will help discern where the other puzzle piece fits in. So I think that only happens with like time. Um, and during that time, you can do wise things like pray about things and Again, seek more wise counsel, uh, uh, see if how you're, you're continuously feeling. But I just think time is something in our culture we try to overcome. We're like, let's go, let's go. I got things to do. Like, if he's the one, let's get married. If, um, if this is the right job, like, let's just make it happen. But the truth is, 
I think if you let the puzzle pieces fall, if you continue working through the other things, you'll be able to discern where that other piece is supposed to fit. So how do you discern the puzzles of life that you're trying to place together? Assess what your spirit is telling you or what you're feeling. Two, seek wise counsel. Maybe people see things that you don't see. And then three, just give it time. The scripture says that like there's a time for everything. And so I think trusting God's timing is huge in just the walk of life. And that's it. I hope that blesses somebody. This was a little long video. I'm Lexi Rosado. I haven't made a video in quite some time, but um, it came to me yesterday and I felt the urgency to make a video. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. And so, yeah, that's it. I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles.